So let's start with the murder charges. Um, the court's going to call Ahmed Al Taib Modawi. Good morning, Mr. Modawi. Sir, you've got four charges on the docket this morning. Three of these charges are the first degree felony of murder. You also have a second degree felony charge of aggravated assault causing serious bodily injury. Ms. Kennedy, I did have just a couple of quick questions before we talk about this case. First of all, with respect to the serious bodily injury for the aggravated assault, um, do you have any information, any additional information other than what was in the DIMS regarding what that seriously serious bodily injury was? Yes, Your Honor. I have an additional sworn statement from an officer stating I was just going to read all four different things sure. all at once. I have an additional sworn statement from an officer stating that the defendant evaded from officers for 0.6 miles before the crash. He was traveling approximately 60 miles per hour, which is double the speed limit at the location. The complainant passenger suffered two broken legs in the crash. This defendant was admitted into the hospital October 1st, released October 5th to JPC. All right, very well. Um, Mr. Medalli, I have reviewed the uh, initial alleged probable cause facts. Um, and at this time, I do find that there is sufficient probable cause for all four of these cases to go forward. They're going to go to the 230th District Court. That's going to be Judge Chris Morton. Will you need a court-appointed lawyer from Judge Morton? Does he need an interpreter, Mr. Henderson? Would you prefer, we can get an Arabic interpreter here for you. Would you prefer to have this interview or this hearing done in Arabic? Let me ask you this, Mr. Modawi. When I read you the rights earlier, when I read everybody the rights, did you understand those rights? Yeah. All right. Would you like the help today of Mr. Henderson from the Public Defender's Office at this hearing? Very well, thank you. Ms. Kennedy, what is the state's request on bond on each of these four cases, please, for Mr. Modawi? Your Honor, in the aggravated assault, serious bodily injury, the state filed a motion requesting a $55,000 bond against a pretrial release based on the facts in all three murder cases. The state filed a motion requesting a $100,000 bond against a pretrial release based on the facts. And a few of those facts are officers on October 1st, 2021, observed a motor vehicle doing high speed circles or donuts in an adjacent parking lot. Officers observed that same vehicle exit the parking lot, speed off. The officers activated their emergency equipment to initiate a traffic stop. The motor vehicle continued to travel eastbound. The officers observed the vehicle crash into an abandoned property's fence. The officer found the defendant stuck in the vehicle, suffered a broken leg. The complainant passenger from the vehicle was ejected from the vehicle, sustained serious injuries to both legs, both of the legs being broken. The officers were advised by by the officers were advised by bystanders that the defendant had struck three pedestrians who were all later identified and pronounced deceased by the Houston Fire Department. The three deceased complainants were working as valets. They were returning after parking vehicles when they were struck by the defendant. The defendant and his complaint passenger were transported to the hospital. Officers later determined that this defendant and his passenger 
were working as a valet at a different location, had taken the vehicle without permission from the owner to do donuts in the empty parking lot prior to the officer arriving. All right, very well. Anything further? And the conditions that the state followed is, in all three cases, no contact with the witnesses or the complaint passenger, no weapons, alcohol, drugs, GPS curfew, a no driving condition. The state is further against a pretrial release under executive order GA 13, current physical violence. That's it, Your Honor. All right, very well, thank you. Mr. Henderson. Uh, judge on the aggravated assault, requesting a $15,000 bond. On each of the murder allegations, requesting a $50,000 bond, 5-0. Um, Mr. Madawi has, uh, has a low risk score on his public safety assessment because He's never previously been charged uh, with any crime. He has no criminal history. Uh, Mr. Madawi is being charged with murder. Uh, and being charged with felony murder, however, he's not being intentionally killing anyone. This allegation is that the uh, death was a result of an accident. He can abide by conditions that will ensure the safety of the community. He can abide by no driving, curfew. He can abide by GPS monitoring. He's never had to appear in court before but he uh, can be expected to show up. He's 17 years old and he's permanently based in Houston. He's been living here over five years now. Since he's 17, he lives with his parents. He also lives with his two brothers at a particular address. He can abide by a curfew uh, at that address. He um, is currently in high school also, which speaks to his uh, incentive to follow court instructions while on, uh, while on bond. Uh, he can get support from his family. His mother can uh, drive him to court appearances. And he can, he can abide by a no driving condition. So requesting a $50,000 bond on the murder allegations and a $15,000 bond on the assault charge. All right, very well. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Mr. Madawi, I am going to set bond for you in each of the murder cases in the amount of $100,000 um, as requested by the state. In the aggravated assault charge, I'll set that bond in the amount of $50,000. Um, I will also issue a bond supervision order that's going to require you, first of all, you may not drive without first getting the permission of Judge Morton in the 230th. You may not use, possess, or consume any illegal drugs or alcohol if you do make this bond. You may not use or possess any firearms or other weapons. I do want you to remain within Harris County and surrounding counties. Um, if you have a passport, are you a U.S. citizen? Okay. What country are you a citizen of? Would you like for us to notify the Sudanese consulate that you've been charged with this offense? No. All right, very well. If you make the bond, you do need to surrender your travel documents, your, pass your Sudanese passport or travel documents to the court um, the next day. And I do want you to have a curfew between the hours of, for now, let's say between the hours of 6 p.m. until 5 a.m., seven days a week. Now, if that interferes with a school schedule or if it interferes with a work schedule, you can talk to Judge Morton and see what he is willing to do in terms of adjusting those hours. Um, all right, Mr. Medalli, please step over, see the deputies. They'll tell you what to do next. Good luck. Counselors, I am putting those conditions on 1742-114, the um, earliest numbered murder charge.